This is my front door. Uh, my class is called Silver Birch, and this is how you say in sign language. And obviously, a bit emoji to welcome everyone in. And here we go. So as soon as you come in, um, I have these toilet lights, but unfortunately I don't think we're actually going to be able to use them during like the pandemic, hopefully by the end of next year. Um, but I used to just turn them on when someone goes to the toilet. So we'll see when I can use that again. Um, acts of kindness, the colour in when they do something kind, and our challenge is to fill the whole like poster in with hearts. Here is my Silver Birch Superstars wall where I have uh, Monday to Friday Star of the Day and then I've got my Maths Magician and Writer of the Week. And then coming through um, I've got You Are Amazing on my clock. This I have recently done and um, each one will be filled with each group's maths and English books but I'm yet to put them in yet because I haven't grouped them. Um, and then I've got handwriting books. This is like my drawers, so it's like a random Miss Aiken drawer. Money to Friday, because I really like putting like all the resources I need for each day. And I didn't have this last year, but I would have really appreciated it if I did. Um, a next week one, because sometimes you just want to put some in ready for next week. And then um, whiteboards at the bottom. These are some more storage. Um, I got these from Twinkle, I believe, um, whereas I made these ones myself. This board was here when I started and I just left it up because it's just one less board for me to do. Um, but they found it quite useful last year referring to it. If they asked for a spelling, I would just go, that is how I spell went, and then they'd be able to do the rest on their own. Um, this is where I put the table groups. Um, I just sort of Velcro their names on, so once I've decided what group they're in, um, I'll put them in. Before, I actually had tables, but now I've got them in rows because of the guidance. Um, but I'm still doing coloured rows. I'm actually out of breath. <laughs> um, here is like my maths area. Um, so number grid and little poster that I got from Poundland last year. Here, my maths display. I love having this. If you can get one in your classroom, I recommend it. Um, it just allows me to use it in the class and I can show a certain method in front of them and then they can refer to it and just keep it on display. Maths language there. A little basket full of math challenges so they know where to go when they finish their work. And then I've got all my deans in here. Before, all this was just out on display so I really like now that I've got it in a drawer out of the way. So going over here, um, this is my topic board. So this table is just full of like topic books and random dinosaur teddies because our first topic is Land Before Time. Uh, so that's just all I've done so far and the rest will just be children's work. Um, over here is my art display and I laminated some frames that I printed off and glue gunned the peg on so I can just clip children's work on there and it's like a little art gallery. I am loving my new growth mindset um, display. This I got on TES that I will link down below. I made this myself. Um, Silver Birch is the name of our class and I just thought maybe we could learn it together and think of actions or something and just get them in the right mindset um, and yeah I just love the ivory and the colours. Um, this title and that title um, is from teachpal.co.uk. She has so many lovely resources so if you haven't already check them out. I've got my bunting and this is like my sink area and um, these are where I put all the tea towels and I've got really cute ones so I'm very excited to use those. Just in a basket, I've got cups for the children to drink out of there. My little mini hinge box and my colours. My sister actually made this for me and I love it. She just got card in one of these like acrylic holders and it looks great. And then of course, I have a fake plant. So down here I've obviously got recycling, bin, fruit waste. This is where we put the snack every morning. And then this is new as well. I did this during lockdown. Um, tidied up all the toys, they all got matching labels and I am in love. I should probably sort this top bit out with all the paper but I haven't yet. My art cupboard, glue stuff, paints etc etc and then these are all my art supplies 
and they're all beautifully organized as well i will leave the link down below of the vlog where i sorted this whole thing out um because it's very satisfying if you like well labeled things um it gets better I've got my, my glitters and everything um yeah i'm very happy with it and this is where we do all our chopping and uh, this is my little sharpening station where we put the, I need to put some more sharp pencils there and then we need to just drop off the broken pencils and then take the sharp pencil and then I will most likely sharpen it with this one or get my sharpener monitors to do it. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, this is from Teach Pal and I'm going to put photos of the whole class like throughout the year and just do a massive like photo collage so I'll just collect that over time. And then this is where I'm going to put my science display. Uh, we've been given this to mark off when we do each category. Uh, that's from Bath Spa that we found that. And then I just have the days of the weeks. This is my TA's desk. As I was saying, we used to have coloured tables. Um, but now we've just got the coloured row groups. So green, blue, red, yellow. And that's actually purple group because I didn't want to do brown. Um, and they all have their own pencil pots each. They have a glue stick eventually, and then pencil, a red pen where they do edits, and then a colour each, and then scissors. And on the first day, I'm going to get them to decorate their pots and just like stick paper over it because, I mean, <laughs> I look like I'm in a cafe at the moment. Um, oh, this has fallen down. Um, I just have this on the washing line. Uh, work that is out of this world um, that I made and I hook it up with the um, globe in front of it and I'll just display the really good work and then this is my board I'm very excited because I now have a hanging plant I uh, just use one of these that have like a hook um, and then put this like random fake plant in and I think it looks lovely it really matches like the whole theme of the reading corner uh, this rug was from Ikea uh, £21 this Be Kind cushion was from Shein. Um, I've got a basket full of books that um, they can read. And then once they've read it, they can um, like give it a five-star rating and write, write their name. Um, basket of book buddies or like teddies for any occasion. Another hanging plant. Um, this is my English display. And before I would just blue tack work up here. But I've done this this year so that the blue tack doesn't ruin the display and I can just like pin it up. A little hack that I actually learned on Instagram. Put a pin in a bulldog clip. It works great. I made this poster to help them with the small tool and that is that full. And um, this is going to be the first book that we look at I think. Uh, I need to check that but I've got it up ready. And then here is where we put the books that we've shared and I made a little envelope here that I've clipped on. Um, and I've got some that we've already printed and then I'm going to print some more off ready. And then, yeah, as you can tell, I like travelling. I've got a map, court board, big map and a globe. Me and the kids just love it. Um, my bookshelf with um, a picture of what it should look like. So make sure they put all the books back tidy. Um, just like this. I've got fiction books, um, some annuals. They absolutely love annuals, especially Star Wars and football. Um, and then some non-fiction books. This is where all my topic stuff goes. So these are all the topics that we do um, over the year. And I just store things um, that we're going to need for the topic. Like this, like books and some resources. I've got a big Harry and Dinosaur book ready to read to them. Um, it's like the big version. And I thought we could read that on the first day of school. Or this book. Or both. We'll see. Um, but I've got them ready. Here's the unit um, that I was talking about I need to decorate the other side of. Um, these are like mostly maths equipment. Actually, yep, they're all maths equipment. Uh, for example, like Unifix. Counting bears. Counting, I put them all like in labelled bags. It's all organised. And these are like other books, like foundation books. Um, and I've just labelled it with my label maker. Little calm box. Uh, so I've got my Worry Monster. In this matching pencil case, there's um, a little notebook and pen that they can rip off and put stuff in. Um, I'll leave the link down below where I downloaded these from. 
um, and they're just all these different types of breathing. So I thought that would help the children be calm. And then also this is another Teach Pal um, mindfulness countdown. And I've also got some squishies come in because my sister said I can have some. So that will go in there. I love this map so much. It was £4 from the works. And I didn't have it up last year. This was actually my topic board, but it was just too big. So now I've changed it. And this corner is just my favourite. And then I've got a alphabet bunting to help them with their big and small letters. And year ones have to learn the alphabet. I've just turned on the lights to show you. I have them on my board and well, on the interactive board and my whiteboard. And I just look so cosy. Um, here I'm going to do a new thing. Um, it was talk partners that we'd put the names and who's in each pair. But obviously we can't sit on the carpet. So excuse all the cables. Need to figure that out. Um, I've just got some in here that when we find exciting words from books that we can just make a whole wall of them and they're cute so yeah. This is my board, got a traffic light system that I still need to print off their names. Um, down here I write down who's got vegetarian or meat option for their dinner. Cute little sign, I've got my Hollywood star that we used last term um, with my other class but I thought I'd keep mine and put it on my board. Also there's a stain right underneath it <laughs> so I'm actually just hiding it. My desk. My drawer is okay. I've used these little containers to try and um, make sections. This is like full of these little signs to stick in books and then I've got some hip hip hooray I lost the tooth today things, pouches. Spray, essential. Um, I'm thinking about putting this in my cupboard to hang up my clothes. Um, essential label your stationery otherwise it will go missing and yeah hand sanitizer hairbrush funky rainbow whistle so this is like my whole desk area i'm really lucky that i have this as well just extra space to put things this little basket for all my stationery so i've got um some double-sided pens all my marking pens um we use yellow highlights to mark and I'm literally just showing random things now. I feel like you can just see it. <laughs> got the, This is the day the kids come back, so that's all ready. I've got marbles because um, each marble is 30 seconds that we have to wait. If, um, if they're like talking and stuff, I just put a marble in the jar. And this thing, um, I actually got for free once and sprayed it gold. And um, I use raffle tickets, which is another behaviour management thing. Um, I've got these lovely... Um, notes from teacher in here oh can't even do it um visual timetable if you want a copy it's free on my ts i will link it down below days of the week um normally I just give it to certain children that need help spelling the day and then my common exception flashcards all things i use on a day-to-day -day basis this is my little light um if i'm working with a group which i don't really know how it's going to work in September but I've got it anyway um, I would just turn the light on and children would oh I need new batteries <laughs> children know that they can't disturb me because I'm working with a group this is it dictionary or is it safe no one will ever know um, tambourine to get everyone's attention this is empty because I know I'll fill it when term starts because I always have things I just put there to deal with another time these are like my best friend, I use them all the time, little timers. This is where I'm going to put all my timetables and like intervention timetables and all this stuff. And then weekly plans will go in here. This was another lovely present and she wrote the poem on her own and it just looks so cute. So that's all there. This is okay. So I have random boxes of puppets I've just left there. Um, I've got like stationary random boxes of things. I need to put labels on them, I think, but for now I've just left them. I did have a lot of things in here, but now I've got two of post-it notes. And these two are actually empty at the moment because I've recently um, made this, which houses a lot of the stuff that was in there. Um, I made a whole video on my Instagram how I made this, if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, so I've just got stuff here and I've got a little chest at the back with the prizes in and I use this for my raffle tickets. This is my eco lead pile. Oh, and I got, um, this is how I store my paper. Um, these were four for a pound in Ikea and I've just done that. So yeah, and then that's my portfolio down there. 
Okay, I think that's everything. I'll just do like a slow pan so you can see everything. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to have carpet time. That's why the carpet's underneath. Um, but hopefully in the new year we can have the carpet out again. But yeah, I'm really happy with it and I feel very organised, ready for September. And yeah. Oh, and then there's a cloakroom by there, but that's pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, this is my classroom.